Hey everyone, welcome back to part 6 of Warhammer 40 Space and I am the Citizen PM. Which one? That's me. Even for those of you who are actually getting uh, gameplay advice, we're having any trouble in this game. I'm sure this doesn't help that much, but you know. Or if you're thinking about buying it and just checking things out, more power to you. <laughs> Working in the gold mine, going down, down, down. I guess I started clearing the scene. Obviously, this last play game is not going to work out. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm doing okay. I mean, Here we are, my lord. I'm sure that I have my critics a little. If anyone's actually watched this, you think it's. <laughs> oh, this is garbage. You should never watch this guy. But then tell their friends. Hopefully, their friends will be good at it. Where their servos go? I still find these things amazingly creepy. I'm not gonna pick it up. This is this looks like something you shouldn't pick up. If you ever see a skull on the ground at any point, don't pick it up. If you see a floating skull <laughs> somewhere on the ground near you, run. <laughs> are there grenades back there? I don't know the grenades are now. Yep. Da, 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 da. So even though we just had the uh, power axe, I have I swapped back to pull the uh, chamber's warp. It's, it's honestly inconsequential. Like uh, the fact that you have four guns of any type, and the ones you can't switch off. Oh no, you, I think you can switch off the uh, the bolter. If you can't switch off the pistol, bolt pistol, I think you always have to keep. You always have to keep. And. Uh, Maybe you can't. I don't know. I've never switched off the bolt it. But uh, in terms of like the melee weapons, there isn't a tremendous difference between them. Like you'll have the opportunity to use um, or choose between all of them, except for like, the combat knife, which you know, after you get rid of that thing, it's, it's pretty much gone forever. But uh, the chain sword, um, the power axe, and the uh, the thunder hammer. The thunder hammer is the last one that you're going to see. I don't think. I think you get that one a little bit later in the game. I prefer the Thunder Hammer. It's a pretty scary setup. That's a, quite the home security system we have going on here. Chain guns and cameras, motion sensors. No one's allowed in this place. If I'm a thief, I'm definitely a turd. Um, I prefer. The, the thunder hammer in most you know, in most cases, it's just because you see how I I run away from those champions most of the time, and yeah, it's probably because I'm a bitch about it. But at the same time, um, those guys take up a lot of damage, and they seem to shrug off everything you throw towards them. Okay, if I had tried to like use the uh, the power axe on those either one of those champions back there, they would freaking just maul me. They would have been close. Uh, and they shrug off gunfire fairly well too. But when you have the Thunder Hammer equipped, like, you'll get their back. They'll, when you hit them, they'll feel it. It's obviously a big weapon. I think the only problem or the only uh, the downside to having it is the fact that you can only use the pistol and the bolter. Like, you can't switch between the other two guns, which is, you know, if you have to use the Vengeance Launcher or the Bolt Stalker Bolter or, well, there's Titans. It's a, it's a War Titans. It's three and four, huh? Please, it's ginormous. It's like they just transport something from Metro into this thing. This is the whole reason for you being here, so. Soak it all in now, I guess. Um, so when you have the uh, Thunder Hammer, you can only use the, the Bolt Pistol or the Bolter. And you're restricted from using the other two weapon slots. So, depending on what your gameplay is like, that may or may not uh, sway your decision about using it. Because, you know, if you like to use like the shotgun type weapon or sniper or anything like that, then probably not the weapon for you. But I'm telling you, um, well, my primary reason, like I said before, Captain, this is, an is the fact that uh, scan for the Inquisitor's life science. That's a pretty cool thing. Dare, a lone human. Um, Identity confirmed. Let's see, let's here. Ordo Xenos. He's in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals. You see, he's over Xenos. That's the, uh, 
and a large number in the alien division since I had mentioned before. So yeah, so I pick up stuff. It's in some way informative in this video. But being able to turn uh, the back of your enemy, like you'll just clear out the regular ones. Like they won't even like see how they can sometimes or sometimes soak up some of the damage from the chainsaw and the power axe, that is not the case with the thunder hammer. You would just like remember that some of the guys who I shot and they had just you know exploded before. The same thing happens almost all the time. And plus uh you know the enemies do get progressively harder. Like you, for the most part, most of the game you're only gonna see the orcs and things like that. I yeah I see it's right there. Another uh freaking survey special shut the fuck up. I'm not picking not it up. Um, station. Everything is under control. Oh, but there's ammo down there. Oh, see? And it goes really like, oh, you've got your so low on ammo. You're about to run by it. I guess I'm going to come down from the other side, too. Oh, well, so there. Huh. You're still wrong. Um, there are other additional enemies. Like, when you get to the second half of this game, what? I don't even want to say the second half. I'd say it's probably about the last third of this game. But it's mostly just, you know, killing orc and uh, blowing shit up. But, like, the, the last third of the game, the enemies change up. You'll have uh, some different types of different enemy types, and they respond to things a little bit differently. And they will have better weaponry than the orcs do, too. They'll be a lot more organized, and, you know, it's important to have, well, in my opinion, important to have a a balanced attack between your firepower and your melee weapons. That, you know, you want to get them to be well, equally confident in both. Which is why I primarily, primarily use just the bolt pistol and the bolter in this game. And uh, with the rare occasion where I want to get some long distance or, you know, I want to blow something up. Which is, you know, rare. This situation is where I feel like I might be able to have matched. I'll, you know, switch the defensive launcher. Do it. Or uh, the melt uh, or the last can. But as much as I can, I try to use these two weapons. And I did this unintentionally in my first playthrough. But uh, when I got the, the Thunder Hammer, I'm like, oh, sweet, I only use these two weapons anyway. So I was really like the ultimate killing machine. The last third of this game, uh, despite the enemies being harder, was not hard for me at all because I had the. Uh, New orders, Midas. I had the Thunder Hammer. At Manufactorum Ajakis, and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solanus to help secure the Invictus while I divert like, to a priority alarm. Days. On our way, Captain. Well, I don't know if uh, this guy had the helmet on before. I think the helmets have like a boxing record, but in this one, it doesn't look like they have much of the way of communication devices. Maybe it's just something I can't see. I don't know. Maybe I'm over there. We'll suck up for that. So how about that, uh, McAfee guy? The guy, the guy from, uh, M McAfee? McAfee? I don't know how you pronounce it. I say McAfee. McAfee. Good. Goes nuts and is, like, shooting that guy because he was on some, like, doped out drug. Like, heroin to the end power, or not heroin, meth to the end power. Meth is a horrible drug. This is the only thing I'll be serious about. Never start taking that. We, we have a stay up late, but the consequences are not good. You lose all your teeth. Watch that show Breaking Bad. I watch it. Breaking Bad. The orcs are in the pipes. Oh, there's an orc. Yeah. He was using that doped out, uh. That doped out super meth. And drug. And he ended up, I think he ended up shooting something or shooting at someone. Like, maybe he just had a bad discussion and things turned out. I, I'm not sure the full cool details. I was just reading the news before I came home, but I could But, man. If the irony there is that he's like a security specialist. Like, he you know, like specializes in software that protects you from, you know, malicious content or malicious, you know, yeah, like content. Viruses aren't really content. But, <laughs> and then he ends up doing something that's like anti-security. Maybe not ironic. Maybe that was a bad choice of words. I, but I think the situation is well, kind, of, kind of funny. At the, at the very least. Any up here? In the room? Service go. Fuck it, let's go back. Things are going quite well at the plant. 
Tell me you work with the good and what you pay. Except for the fact that most of you probably do. You should have been sign up for that. I can't imagine what it'd be like to work in a world like this and then it gets invaded by, you know, random forces. They just devastate everything. These elevators cannot take their... Anything up here? I feel like there's something up here. Nope. Just me being paranoid. Yeah, I, I think everyone should have like a you know, small amount of paranoia as well. If you're, if you're paranoid about some small things, it kind of keeps you safe. Like, you know, like I said, like there's some degrees of fear that are probably healthy for you. Like, I'm afraid of people with hockey masks and chainsaws. Like, I don't mean like that in the terms of, you know, watching a Friday the 13th movie and seeing Jason Voorhees or, you know, with his hockey mask and that sort of thing. Like, I mean seeing someone in actual life who has a hockey mask and shit, so... You don't want to be in a situation like that and not be afraid and be like, hey, I wonder what's up with that guy. Well, clearly with a hockey mask and shit, so he's either... You know, an actor on set, so you should probably get the fuck out of there, or he is a psycho killer. Either way, you don't want to go too close to him until you've done some primary investigations first. What is the state you know, proof of that? Take it out of your way. The power source is running the entire manufactorum from the generator. The manufactorum is running. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon. It is a complex thermal nuclear device or uh, something. Uh, if the orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Safety. Oh, nice. And for that captain, good thing you told me that before I got here. That's a, you know, the thing you don't like about the Inquisition, because, um, like, they're allowed to work without regard for anyone else, or without any kind of authority. So, they don't need to check in with anyone. So when they do crazy shit like this, something that could potentially destroy an entire planet, I realize there's more, I mean, you know, there's a lot of more people around, so it's probably not going to deal with them, but... You know, I just got called in today. Uh, this is my 9 to 5 here. I'm not ready to sign up for that. Just fuck you. I wonder how people feel about that. <laughs> Guttural English accent. Like, is that racist at all? Like, is that the same thing as, like, Oh, oh master, yes, yes sir. Like, I realize that I may have gotten a little bit extreme in that case, but... Talking like a slave from uh, the 1800s is probably not the only thing from being a, having a, a guttural English accent. Uh, but I feel like it should be about the same thing. I was trying to get some power from that guy. I thought there was a guy like that. I feel like that should be like all on the same lines. Like, I certainly wouldn't want someone talking to me like that. I'd be like, man, you got to get you got fucked up. I'm going to have to take you out back and whip you or something. It's even that sound racist because we don't want to whoop someone who's like talking with this quote unquote slave accent. Where do those shots come from? First thing I do is look towards my own guys. Even the third is going to be across the line. Like, like, I wouldn't want to whip someone who has slave accent, but I, I would definitely want to kick their ass. A little bit. Like, Shot I didn't put the fight in me so I could, you know, like, clean up the self defense. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I hate these guys out there, but they'll change my things. Yeah, no one ain't messing up. Out of the way, out of the way. See, sometimes your NPCs, like, for all the good the bullets open up they do, they're uh, lollygagging around when they're trying to do fancy, like, you know, 
Oh, wow. Now he's going to run. But, like, you know, why can't he do that a couple seconds ago? I mean, we not have taken that chainsaw to the jaw. Well, I, if, if I were to adopt that English accent, that that one specifically, which it sounds a little bit lower class. Maybe that's my uh, egocentrism, ethnocentrism. Is that how that works? I think egocentrism is so ethnocentrism is uh, culture. So. Uh, maybe that's shine through a little bit because maybe there are people who talk like that quite a bit in English, but. I certainly don't see that many of them on television, or like have meet that many of them on world tours. And yes, we get quite a few tours in Las Vegas, the number one tourist destination in America. Ah! That's right, it is. It's growing every day. People want to come here and lose their money, get drunk, and go home and pretend like it never happened, even though it's probably going to show up on Twitter and Facebook along the same times. But yeah, I, I think it's it's a little bit racist to me. Who knows? I could be wrong. Someone, someone leave a comment. Someone from England. Someone find something from England. That's your homework assignment. I came up in the store. As always, you guys are in the know. Was something I'm supposed to press back here? What am I missing? Is it just you? Did I not kill someone right? No, I freaking open the door, go with the light screen, green means go. I can't open this door. What's the oh, hold up? This might be where this let's play ends right here. I can't get to this fucking door with toast. I think it's this guy. I think he's clicks. Why is he just hanging out here? Maybe have him back. He went back too. I think that guy's stuck. Oh, what, what the hell? Can I run back further? Will this, will this help things? This never happened to you before. I think. I think I'm about to restart the last checkpoint. I really don't want to, but I feel like that's what needs to happen here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Quick and then have to re all this shit, so. I don't know, it's. I, we can just beat him over the head or something like that. Maybe things will work out better. Look, we're getting a new weapon. I'm, just really I'm probably not going to use it very soon. So. When you start getting these new weapons, whatever one you have selected is going to be first. Oh, wait, it's a pistol! Sweet. There we go. Now we're talking. So, yeah, the plasma pistol is a replacement for the bolt pistol. It too has unlimited ammo. Um, get to that lift. But it also has, like, remember that scene, what, one video, one, two videos ago, where we were shooting the plasma cannon. The same kind of, kind of deal. Charges up, uh, instead of reloading it, it overheats, so you just have to vent it every now and again. But this weapon, I guess, yeah, I, no, you can't. I don't think you can leave it. I don't know why you would, because this is going to be the bread and butter for the rest of this game. This is the reason why I probably won't be switching off these two weapons for like the overall majority of what's left here. Like, uh, I will give the last cannon a go and I'll show you guys the, uh, the melt-a-gun. 
Uh, it would once we get to those, but I probably won't be switching off this gun anytime soon. Um, when you charge it up, it unleashes a plasma fury ball that will latch onto targets. Like, it won't home onto them, but once it gets to them, it'll stick to them. So definitely, I look at these guys with car doors. I am so worried about you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens when you move the pillars car doors. You get your head in there. And look, there's another one. Your fellow looters, I suppose. Like, you can't vent it while you're uh, rolling on the leg. But, uh, this gun is very concurrent with my gameplay. Like, dodge until you get a good shot. Not a great shot, just a good one. And then unleash hell. If I see it, unleash hell. Shout out to Gladiator. The movie by which all, uh, surround sound system to be tested when you're at best time. So, whatever audio system, audio place you choose to buy your electronics. electronics it's two down. Oh, they actually did something for once. For them. I'm one. For once. I'm sure they killed some more people along the way. I just didn't notice, but... It's rare that I actually see them going. I am gonna run this one a little bit longer than the other ones. Just because, uh... Asshole decided not to freaking do the program. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you jerk. Thinks he got all the time in the world to waste, hanging out in the corner doing nothing. That's, that's not why you're here. How much deeper does this facility go? Tell me those shields don't look like car doors. <laughs> so I make a comment about what they do look like if you disagree that they look like car doors, but I would say. Without a shadow of a doubt, that looks like something taken off the side of a BMW. Or a uh, Volkswagen, maybe. Like a Volkswagen bus. Just cut out. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here we are. Colder than the space with smile. Well, this must be the meat market. A byproduct of the device's function. A byproduct of What is it? This would, this would be something you want to sell to a beer company. Your beers will never be frosted or never not be frosty again. There's cold and then there's super cold. I love when people in some cold weather states are like, well, I can put my beers outside and just have them. I don't think I'm climbing inside. I don't need to climb anything in this game. I can put my beers in the snow and then. Just be cool with that. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not sure where you've been. Like, here's an example of where I can either pick up a chainsaw or the uh, power rats. That just lets you know that neither one of them is really that spectacular. It just it's a matter of preference. So, since I already have a chainsaw, I'm just with that. Like putting your beer outside in the cold and Brothers, not being able to do anything because you're, 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 you're snowed in or. Um, you know, can't get to work. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the refrigerator and just put my beers in there. Or, desperate situation where I got warm beer because, you know, there's been a suitable party and uh, they have no cold beer left. I'll just put it in the freezer. Yeah, and I realize putting beer in the freezer, especially bottled beer, is not a good idea. Probably explode, but... At the same time, like, you know, just, just keep a track on it, like, realize about how long it's going to take you to, uh, Captain, the war boss. That's right, the guy is going to be there. Uh-oh. Maybe enough of the more power source will be free in the generator shortly. Uh -oh. Not what I need to do. 
Um, you know, keep a track of keep track of how long it's been in there. And then, um, see how you can just charge up the super size now. It's like the, uh, the, the plasma grenades from the uh, world of combat and war. Oh, I shot the guy in the crotch. I shot him in the dick. Oh, I know it's a little blow, but it had to be you or me. It sure as hell wasn't going to be me. Um. Yeah, keep keep track of how long it was in the refrigerator. Then just, you know. As long as it's not like an hour and a half, just take care of it that way. I worry about how to put it in the snow. Quick cool, you know, get a cool of some ice if you need to. I think that's that self I think it's self ice. You really that much of a loss? Oh crap! This is with the um, pistol. Really so this guy just went off the screen. Got to the leg. And left hook to the face. Now, head over to the Servitor station and activate it. It will retrieve the power source and get it into its canister. First time I played through this, I made the mistake of not going towards that thing. And every time you see those videos, that's the place you should go to the uh, green, you know, gears, thingy, the waypoint marker. Don't dick around with those guys. They'll just keep spawning and stuff like that. Some of them will just start sending around after a while, though. Really? They're still fighting us? It's clearly time for you to end this part. Nothing like a hard day's work in the factory. See you guys for a happy hour. Even the freaking canister looks like it's something that should be out of a church. Sidonus, Leandros, respond. Captain, All right. the Inquisitor insisted you could not call. have survived. Make sure we find that one. And I have his precious power source. We set a rendezvous in Hap Center Andres. These yeah, tunnels will spit cool. us out there cool. eventually. Fine. It's like the land heading the heck. toward the Hap Center. <laughs> Alright, our new objective is to escape to sewers, which we will do in the next part. Um, I think it's good a place as I need to stop. It's, you know, finish the chapter, start a new one. Uh, we'll see how long it goes, and we'll see what the, some more of the reception is. Maybe someone gets uh, some comments, maybe we get some views. Maybe someone talks about, you know, my commentary overall, what I should be doing, what I'm doing wrong. Either way, we're in the game. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and check out my hubs page. Uh, so then we'll see you guys next time. Bye.